and I'll give a short countdown and then we'll go. So three, two, one, go. So this is Rage, the most beloved game by the legendary game developer id Software, or something like that, I don't know. And we're starting off this beautiful run with a beautiful cutscene that you cannot skip, so I'll just let you enjoy this. So that was the beautiful intro cutscene. Oh yeah, I'm Dracu. Hi, how are you doing? I'll be showing you around this wonderful game. So... Pretty much right off the bat, we're going to... load an autosave that the game creates after we've looped up and down. That skips. So I'm waiting around in this arc, after which we're going to get another cutscene. So, what a wonderful game. So now the game creates an autosave, and we're going to load it, and that instantly takes us out of this arc. Now we're here. Now we get to ride in this buggy for a while, which is basically another cutscene, except you can look around. Isn't that wonderful? Also, there's a bobblehead of the Doom guy, which is pretty cool, I guess. I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, Ark survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever He's also wearing some nice Gunnar Gunna gaming classes, so that's kind of cool. I trust him. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Hold on. Got bandits. Damn shame you're still wearing that arc suit. It's a dead giveaway. Pretty much their world out here. It's Not actually possible Damn. to now we both got a problem. Skip this. Like you can jump out of bounds and then jump around. Whatever, but you cannot actually you get to my place. Get to the trigger that activates the next thing that you have to do, so you're just stuck there. Because the trigger is inside a building, and there's no way to access that building. 
unfortunately. So you have to sit through this. Uh, here we are, home sweet home. So Rage is a game, first person shooter, set in an, in an post-apocalyptic world. You're some weird arc survivor. I don't even know the story. It's we weird. Get out of the buggy. And you mostly jump around, you shoot, and you skip dialogue by not paying attention to the people who are talking to you. So that's fun. Come on, this way. So basically this game teaches you to be rude. And this guy sure loves to take his time when he's walking. So the way you skip dialogue in this game is... You know, when somebody talks to you, you just walk away. So here's what I need. Oh, That's how it works in real life. One more thing. So there's your first tip. And you're supposed to take that little buggy, but it's faster to just jump around. So... Well, depending on how well you jump. And since this is a game by id, it has strafe jumping at the very least. Even though it's not really intended to be used, the timing is really weird for when you have to press jump. You basically press jump as soon as you start going down from when you jumped. So, so it can be weird and hard sometimes. That that's a oh pretty nice set of speed we got there. Also you have to pay attention to not falling from too high. So you you don't take fall damage that just kills you. He's below us. Get now. You're there. This game is also notorious for having invisible walls everywhere, and... Like... If you see a railing that you expect to be able to jump over, you probably can't, because this is rage. We don't want to give you freedom, even though this is supposed to be an open world game. Or something like that. But, eh, nobody's perfect. Take him to the kill room. And I should also mention that the route I'm going for is basically the world record route, which is old uh, by this awake. point. There have been Good. lots of new things that have I been like found. My prey to know and I have coming. a few I small things that I added to this route. I didn't have time to completely reroute the game, unfortunately. So now the game teaches us about the DVIB mechanic that if you take too much damage and you're supposed to die instead you get to use a defib and resurrect yourself which is dumb i think it actually has a limit on how many times you can use the defib before you die or a recharge rate or something this game also has swearing so it's not a family show anymore Getting stuck on enemies is always fun. If you sprint, you might find that you get a little bit floaty and you kind of bump from diff- Oh, that, that was a bad grenade. Way too early. So I'm supposed to kill these guys so I can ride down this zip line. So that went pretty well. And that's this place. I don't even know why we came here. But now we've dealt with it. And now we're going back to the same place where we came from, which is basically this game. You run errands for people you don't know, and you really don't get rewarded. You just do it, because why not? These jumps are lovely. It's especially hard going uphill and even a bit harder going downhill, even though you gain a lot more speed when going downhill. Mainly due to the timing being weird.
Unfortunately, I cannot put the game in the third person because that looks silly as fuck. Welcome, stranger. Hey, How are we going to, care to browse my goods? talk to this merchant and I buy the monocular, which lets us use a trick, which is. Anyway, it's called something. Zoom, zoom, something. Whoa. Stupid. Just past the hill. Could you help me again? Thank you. And before you could... So the game also likes to throw these stupid notifications at you. That you... You have to press the continue button or whatever accept thing. Or you have to press enter. It's, there's no rebinding for that key, so it's a bit weird. Kind of sluggish. Looking for Richter. He's up there. So now we're going to get a few quests from here. One of which rewards us with the weapon we're going to be using basically for the rest of the game. Which is the shotgun. And this guy, Richter right here, gives it to us. It's actually possible to skip Richter completely and not get the shotgun, but uh I don't really like that. You must be one of Dan. We have to talk to this old lady who has anus in her name, which must be really unfortunate. Good luck, and I pray. Couldn't help but notice, stranger. I'm actually. I think I'm going to. Probably just out of alignment. Good luck. I'm going to let him go through this dialogue because it's possible that he soft locks the game by not letting you, by not like getting out of the way, and he'll just repeat one piece of dialogue to you over and over. And you have to reload a save, which is a bit annoying. I'm gasping for a And the reason why the movement is a bit like going all over the place, like getting bumped off things, is because this game has ramp jumps as well, and pretty much everything is a ramp basically, so you get bumped up a lot. In weird, weird ways. So here we're going to use the monocular to turn this switch without, without actually going up there. So there's like one second after you zoom in where you'll see the use icon. So I just basically spam the use key, which is, I actually have bound to mouse wheel, so it's a bit easier. <laughs> So we did those quests, and now we get rewarded. Hey, you. The best weapon in the game. Yeah, not bad. And here it is, the shotgun. This animation actually doesn't play sometimes. I don't really know why. Juno's dead. But there's like, it doesn't save time if it doesn't play. I don't actually have to make that bandage, and I press the button. Oh, nice. You accept, expect that the ESC key, key takes you out of the menu, but it doesn't. It's dead. Gives you stupid shit. So the shotgun is the weapon that we're mostly going to use after we've built a certain type of ammunition. Which is just totally overpowered. And that's another thing about this game that I actually like. It has different types of ammunition for different weapons. Which is a cool mechanic. Now we're going to get the buggy fixed. Hey buddy, dancing. Truth is. Imagine a stranger walking into your shop, talking to you and then instantly running into a wall, then talking to you again. That would be a nice way to start the day. So now we're basically going back to the same place we came from. Except we're going just... We're taking a slightly different route after we've talked to this guy. These are really nice jumps. The game is actually like... The, I, I wish the jumping was better. Like, if they... Fully like 
utilized the jumping mechanics. It would be really fun to jump around. Like now it's just, it's a bit unreliable. Also, we got the first different kind of ammunition. The game is teaching us about that with a stupid pop-up. So if you look at the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see that I have fat boys equipped. Can you not? Thank you. Which are... a different ammo type for the pistol that I currently have. They do increase damage. And they're pretty useful in a few sections. This is a pretty straightforward place. We make a lock pick, lock grinder, whatever. Another thing about this game is that as I mentioned, we'll be crafting a different ammunition for this weapon, which requires us to buy materials for it. And we need money for that, so we'll collect some stuff that makes it easier for us to buy the needed ingredients. You can pick up, like, there's lots of things you can pick up around around the maps, and you can also loot corpses. Oh, I didn't actually get it. Interesting. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. So this is the first boss fight. <clears throat> I think there are two. And that was the boss fight. Pretty cool. Challenging. You know, need to use different tactics because it's so hard. So that was that. And now we get to jump back. I could take that buggy there. I don't really care. Like, it's a consistent way to get around, but I much prefer this. Because it's more fun. I don't really care about speed. I just want to jump around. So, you probably heard the character that I'm playing running out of breath there. So this game has a stamina bar, it just doesn't display it because game design. Those parts should be the okay. And that can be a bit annoying sometimes when you're trying to like start okay. a set of jumps. Go ahead and grab that radio. Because it's a lot easier to get a good... Get good jumping speed when you actually... Actually have some... Stamina to sprint. So that's our vehicle. You ready to go? Take it out for a spin, but remember... How do you like that buggy? The bandit. You think you can do this for me? Excellent. Here's the, Here's the sniper rifle. Take a good look, take a screenshot. This is the only time we'll be ever seeing it. So you're intended to shoot those bandits up there or something. The sniper rifle. That's actually annoying. The explosive fell. Oh, the explosives killed me. I just hope the buggy didn't get broken. So I have to set those explosives and then we are out of here. So that was a bit sloppy. The explosives can knock you around annoyingly. Hey partner, you looking good out there. Gear to test your skills on course. Come back and see me if you dare. Out. Great work. So now we're heading now heading we into the first big town in this game and actually there are only two so can you make the trip i knew i could count on you and we spend most of the time well hey, so you got we don't really spend that much time in the town we just go around getting quests from people buying some stuff but most of the most of the game is spent in this area there is a second area later on and it's quite short compared to this one. 
So now we're just driving there. We don't have any weapons in our vehicle, so we're not going to fight these guys, even though we could. Well, we can't. We don't have weapons, that's what I just said. And even later on, we're going to buy a weapon for the vehicle, but we're actually not going to use that at all, because we need the... We need the ammunition or other things. Hold up there, stranger. You need to see me. And I'm actually going to see steal this like turret just because I kind of want money. Nah, I didn't get it. Whatever. It's like 20 bucks if I sell it. So this is Wellspring. The first town. Jump on an invisible box. Let's talk to the mayor. Welcome to we steal his bobblehead. Having some trouble because we're nice folks. Go see the vendor in town. Good. Glad we understand. So now we're going to buy a new outfit. And the outfit that we're going to get is an outfit that is only available to you if you have the Anarchy edition of this game. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's and it gives you... Well, normally there are free suit, free outfits that you can choose from. They all have different abilities. But if you have the Anarchy edition or if you have changed some files and unlocked the content without actually having the edition like <clears throat> some people may have done, you can buy that outfit and it has all of the attributes of the free normal outfits combined. Also, I'm doing a race now. I don't know what's going on. So this is basically a normal time trial. Three laps. Nothing really to do here except take these boosts. And the reason why we're doing this is because we get rewarded 15 tokens from this. And we use 10 tokens to buy the minigun for the vehicle. As I mentioned earlier. But we're actually not going to use the minigun at all. Because when you buy the minigun you also get ammunition for it. And we sell that ammunition later on. So we get more money, more money. So we can buy more things that we actually need. Unlike the ammunition for the minigun, which we don't need. <laughs> Video games. So yeah, that's the only reason why we're doing this. And there's really nothing here that you can do. Let's just go around. Go around in the same circles. Much like my life. And it's almost over. And if you're already getting sad that it's almost over, don't worry. We'll be back. For another three laps at one point. So that was the race. Nice. I won. I don't really know what I did, but I won. I got the best vehicle parts anywhere. Here to browse my selections. And now we're going to buy the minigun. Nice. Doing nice. That's that. Sure, I saw them. You do. That's much better. Now you look. Mayor is happy that we got a sexier outfit. I don't trust this guy, to be honest. After you talk to Mick. Ah, now we have to rent a spot from the garage for our vehicle. So we just look at this guy and he understands what we're saying, even though we don't say anything. That's that. The deed is done. Then we have to go find the sheriff, who gives us, gives us a few quests along the line. Hello, well, Sheriff Black. Oh yeah, we're going to have to talk to him more than once right now. So now that we have a spot in the garage at two places, we can actually use a tow truck service to... Basically warp between those two garages, and that's what we're going to do. It costs a bit of money, but depending on how much money you have, like if you don't have much money at all, 
it doesn't cost that much. I think it might even be free at some point if you don't have enough money. Well, good to see. You. I know you took some chance. No. And then we just go back. And we're going to be doing that a few times during the run. Now we're back here. Good, you're back. Bandit's been digging it. I'm gonna need you to run up there. And, You'll have a and different characters and have different like. Wait, where am I going? I'm going here. Different characters have like a a a different sized box around them that defines how far you actually have to go. You need to get in order to. Skip their dialogue. Supplies, I need the easiest way to get her. There are actually commands in the game that you can use from the console to display those boxes. You can also display like surfaces, like if a surface is solid, stuff like that. So there's lots that you can look at this game if you want to learn the run and now I'm running out of breath again ah, did I get everything I think I did so now we're going to go get a sponsorship from JK Styles and we get the sponsorship by completing basically an arena it's a set of rooms where you have to kill enemies. You also earn money from there, so... We'll try to get at least a thousand bucks from there. It should be good enough. So this is the place. That's JK Styles. Great! Easiest sponsorship also, in the Wasteland. Excellent! Put a good show on and I'll put it in reruns. This is pretty much what I look like when I'm streaming, so take that in. Enjoy the mental mental image. So this is a television show. And we're doing this. Because why not? So you get score in these different rooms based on your accuracy. The time it takes to complete the room, and maybe something else that I don't remember. We're just trying to do as well as we can. Some of these... Like, the enemies will come from those pipes, for example. From behind there, those pipes there. Some of it is always going to be the same. Some of it is random. So I just have to react to it. This part is random. And this isn't. Honestly, if you do these, you're not really going to see that much of a difference, and that's a spinning gorilla. Pay no attention to that. 
so now we're going to use the fat boys which is the ammo type for pistol because it one shots these guys So this is a bonus round. Yeah. Yeah. So you can earn extra money here by shooting the target on this icons of money but we don't really want to waste our time on that so we'll just take the mutants instead and be done with it accuracy 100 percent i missed a shot this game is good so this is the last last room there are two rounds here one is this, and after this, there's a boss fight. Uh, the start of this is always the same. Like these first three are at least always going to be the same. But at this point, I think it's random. But I just might have a bad memory. fight you just have to shoot him in the head repeatedly and try to dodge his tentacle or whatever that is I actually discovered this during practice that you can kind of bait out his tentacle attack to be in a different direction so it doesn't do that which just blocks your vision. Yeah, so that was that. And because this is a speed run, I'm going to get the dope fish. There he is. What a great guy. Yeah. And that's me. I look ugly. I know. Yeah, so that's that's a lot of money. Bravo! We can use that. Now we can get out of here. We got the sponsorship, which means that we got a special car, which we'll use in a different race. And it comes with a few perks, which we'll see when I'm actually going to do the race, which is not yet, because we still have to go to a different place to do an errand mission for the mayor. So now we're just going to go to a different section of the of this area. For this particular mission, you can actually there's an invisible wall to my right, which is really high, and there are also like you know mountains like those. But you can also you can actually jump over all of them by using RC cars which have explosives tied to them. And, and uh, making them explode under your car. I think it's like... It's four to six RC cars that's required to make that jump. It's also really hard. And it would require some rerouting to actually get those cars so early on in the game. Well, it wouldn't be early on because you'd just be doing the same missions but in a different order. So I guess it would be at the same point used 
So there's a small thing you can do here. You're supposed to get this crystal sample or whatever from this small tube, but you can actually if you line up line it up right get lucky basically. Yeah. There was the notification to pick it up, but I didn't get it. This is yeah. You can basically get it through through the whole thing. A sample. So you don't have to wait around there for it to spin open. Okay. Back to the mayor. Well, good work. But whatever it is you got there. And the mayor is giving us the best quest in the game because you get to spend time with the best person in the game. I'm going to enjoy that. So much. Um, yeah. Let's go do the race. It's been a long time since LJ. Interested in winning some So now we're going to do this sponsored event where we are going to use the car that we got from the sponsorship. And it looks pretty cool, right? And since this is a clean fight, we're going to explode everyone right at the start. Because, you know, fair game. This is a fair competition after all. And that explosion was caused by what I can only assume is the Holy Spirit of JK Styles himself. Take a look for yourself. That's weird and scary. So that's basically a special ability for this car. And it's outright bullshit. Because I can just do it right when the stupid race starts. And my opponents will never be able to catch up to me. So now this is basically time trial again. Let's do it again. Jesus Christ, look at that. Wait, can I spam it? <laughs> I can. As soon as it fades out, I can... Uh, no. Oh, I have a set amount of charges for it. That's a shame. Even though there's no indicator for that on the screen. Game design. Yeah, so that's that. I, I got a new car or something. And now we're actually going to go sell a lot of stuff and then we're going to buy ingredients and craft the ammo for the shotgun that we're going to use for the rest of the game so first of all let's sell all the crap which is that 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 and all of the ammo except for buckshots and the fat boys so now we're going to buy a shotgun extender uh, the pop rocket schematics and 35 explosive packs and we're going to spend the rest on buck shots Pleasure doing Boom. then we're going to spend a little time actually crafting the things so this might take a while so oh yeah it's time to stretch ah Later on in the game, we might have to craft some more, just so we can last until the rest of the game. And we're, all, we're also going to be crafting a few sentry turrets, 10 actually, later on. But apart from that, we're not going to craft anything. You could craft like bandages, lock grinders, damage amplifiers once you get the schematics. And there are all kinds of different things, different ammunition for different guns that you can make. So that's that. Let's go back to the sheriff. Hello. The Northern Watchtower. It won't be easy. Good luck. I'm in camp. 
So we're basically delivering the lunch of a few people to them. Which is always nice as a survivor from a fucking arc. Sent from the past or the future or something. And after that we are we're going to spend some quality time with a good old friend. Then, oh, there's no ramp here. Whatever. We'll use this instead. We don't need no roads. Deliver the lunch. Excellent work, buddy. Enjoy. Then we're going to go spend quality time with our old pal, Wasi. Or whatever the fuck his name is. Dr. Wasi. He's Russian, I think. And there he is. He's handsome. So, welcome to hell. This is a place right. where you cannot Let's skip any dialogue. There. There's nothing to do here. Put it on the and and we have to come here three times. Sounds fun. It is. And he talks so goddamn slow. Oh, look at this. This is fun. Now that was fun, wasn't it? Mm. I want to kill myself. Interesting. Felt oh, yeah. He's going to okay. blabber on about stupid stuff for some while. Might take some time. So I'm just going to but jump you, around. You also look interesting. Oh yeah, he's also going to take a look There's at me closer. And he has this weird it. little robot Best on his shoulder that I don't. At you too. That makes me feel weird. I guess it gets lonely in here. Interesting. Very so he needed to build, build you a friend. All those little computers a sad story, really. Inside you. Secret, secrets. Everyone's <sighs> got a little secret. So, and you I didn't actually talk about the movement secret. at all. Well, I did. I, I said that it's hard. Hard to do consecutive with the authority up in this jumps. City. So much like a game like Wake Free, for example, if you're familiar with it, this game has strafe jumping. If the authority catches well, you and you don't have anything they need, you'll be dead. Well, yeah, strafe you jumping is part of the old world, it, not part of the new world. But it's of a bit. There are people who stand up against it's. Not many. It's kind of. They call themselves the resistance. Wake Free movement esque on drugs. You get a lot of acceleration when you first start a circle jump, but you cannot reach the speeds that you could, for instance, in Quake 3. And you don't have air control, and it's harder to do consecutive jumps. But that will require a little effort on your part. You see, I don't have the necessary equipment here. Oh yeah, he's going to give us a quest to go to the Dead City, well which is place a fun place, actually. I, I kind of like it. And it also contains, I think, the last boss fight that we're going to encounter for the rest of the game. And that boss is... He's something. I didn't see everything that was done there, but I heard the... Oh. I did a thing. Surrounded by a tremendous wall filled with living memories. It's actually funny if you alt tab during this cutscene or this event, whatever. His dialogue will get off synced, and he'll just he might just stare at you, but he's still speaking. So now we're going to go to the dead city. Welcome 
the dead city. Let's switch the shotgun. And we're going to switch to pop rockets, which are... Which are the type of ammunition we're going to be using for the rest of the game, because they are marvelous. Here's a big guy. You throw a few grenades at him and use the pop rockets. And he's dead. So the pop rockets are wonderful. They're basically dead rockets in your shotgun. I love that. And they're really overpowered. That's a big can. Which you probably won't see with the bitrate being all shit. <sighs> so this is a set event. There will be mutants coming out of the walls. Floor, roof, whatever. It's always going to be the same pattern, so... Just sit through it. And enjoy the gibbs! Okay, so there's a small skip, com skip coming up, coming up ahead. I'll do a save here, it's just because I don't actually want to fight doing this thing. So I'm going to do a ramp jump. And unless I suck, I'm going to get it. But it's a bit hard. Come on. Ah, uh, we made it. And that's another big guy. So yeah. There's that small pile of crap that you can actually use to do a ramp jump. Or from, and just skip the fights that you're supposed to do there. So the big guy that you saw, maybe, a small glimpse of, is the boss that we'll be fighting later on. Just doing a few things here. We have to wait for that switch to activate, so I'm going to use this time to get that ammunition. And actually, let's get that. Did you hear it? That was the Binky Demon from Doom. You might have missed it. So I just basically got all the secrets from that secret room. Well, not secret, but luck room. Without actually going in there. By using the... Zoom glitch or whatever. Actually, let's just dodge through here. Because we can. Also, I might not have mentioned it, but you have bandages, which heal you to full health instantly. And you can craft more of them. They don't have a delay, so you can just spam them if you're taking a lot of damage. And they are handy in a few sections. You might take down damage. Oh yeah, this is the boss fight. So we're going to get the rocket launcher. And here's the big guy. I don't actually know his name, so we'll just dub him, say, Shadex. Yeah. So this is the most interesting fight that you could have in a video game. See if you can spot the pattern, it might be hard. Did 
Did you figure it out? I don't think I did. And Shadax is dead. Well, rip. I ran out of stamina, so that guy, the staircase, blocked me. If you go fast enough, you can not get blocked by him. But I don't have stamina. So a small thing here, this, this wall will get smashed in by a mutant. But if you stand somewhere around here, the wall will kind of... Well, you can see through the wall before he actually smashes it. Okay. And he just spawned. That's cool. I can't see anything. So that's Dead City. Pretty cool. And if you already missed Dead City, don't worry. We're coming back. But for now, we're going to go see our good friend Kwasi again. Because why the hell not? He seems like a fun guy to hang around with. And as I said, we have visited him three times in total. So this is the second time. And I think this is also the shortest time that we'll be spending with him, unfortunately. Because I sure as fuck love seeing your face. Now, just stay still and I'll get that defib upgrade installed. Oh Should yeah, he's giving us an upgrade. Which we never much. use. I don't even know what it is. I guess it shortens the time that it takes for the defib to reload or something. Okay. Hey. There you are. Now, you have twice the resurrection power. And I do believe that you will need it. Remember, the authority is ruthless. The I Lord bet I'm going is to only need a it. matter of time before they get you. Your future will lay ultimately with the resistance. But that yeah, isn't the I think path we need. He's going to, to raise now. that table and I can actually get on right, top of I it. Finished analyzing the felt right Maybe. sample you brought. What the bandits are trying to do, successfully it would seem, I like how his head actually the felt right follows my bullet. Accelerator. Very dangerous in their hands. This piece has been neutralized, but you best bring it to Clayton. He needs to know what he may be facing. Take it to him. Come. Yay. So we're done with him. For now. Back to town. Very interesting. You have proven yourself to be very careful oh, yeah. and reliable. The mayor doesn't give us any more quests at this point, so the sheriff is the main guy to talk to. Great work. And I think we're going to the Shrouded yeah, Bunker more, now. And he's also giving us the ability to build well, the RC cars that I mentioned earlier. That can be used to skip you stuff. You can do this? Take these yeah. Plans, build so we're going to the Shrouded Bunker, where I'm going to take a few RC cars and I'm actually going to use them at two points. Nothing major, just, just a few small new things to jump over invisible walls, basically. So I need six RC cars for those jumps. I don't, 
I might not actually remember where those RC cars are located in the crowded bunkers, so I just I have to be a bit slow and loop around. <clears throat> but there's also there's there's also a nice little trick at the end of this place that I'll try to do. It most likely will fail because it's a bit hard to get right. Okay. I don't need that RC car, maybe. I might. So I'm going to <laughs> let's reload. I destroyed the RC car that was driving around, so it also exploded the one on the table. So I'll have to do this. And then we are going to drive around in this. That boom. For some reason, even though I'm up there, once I explode this stockpile of whatever, I get transported down here. This is actually where I'm going to get the RC cars, even though I don't remember where they are. Here. There. Then I'm going to go through here. And there. And one there. Okay, we're good. I should have a few extra right now, and I could check it by switching to the RC cars with a hotkey, which should be... Okay, I have seven. Now I have eight. Uh, that's more than enough. I have to kill these guys. Oh yeah, there's one more over here. something I can pick up so I can get more money all right there's a small trick here so I'm going to make a quick save I'm basically going to going to go fast enough so I can get under a door before it closes and easy and then there's another trick here this is the one I mentioned earlier which will possibly most likely fail, but I'll attempt it anyway. So, we're supposed to take this elevator up, but instead I'm just going to fly up. Why not? It basically works in a way that when you press the button, there's an invisible wall that spawns where I currently am. And if you're already standing there... I might not get it. It's really hard to... Uh, I'm not going to get it. I'm so slow. Oh, 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 I got it. <laughs> really slow, but I got it. So yeah. So you... The wall spawns in your location, so you're already inside it. And when you jump, you have a solid surface underneath yeah, you. So you can down. jump again. No worries. I'll be there in a minute. That's how I understand that it works. And it sounds sane enough, so I'm going to go with that explanation. So yeah, that was the Shrouded Bunker. Pretty cool. Fun place. Got the RC cars that we needed. Now that is another What? Something's got Carl. And now we are going to go to the well. Well, it's about 
him. So, we need these bandits dealt with. Good. Stop here. Which is another fun, fun place. There are some RC car skips here, which I'm not going to do. Oh, I don't have electricity bolts. Like it really matters. It's possible to do a RC car jump in the previous section. Air shot. To skip those. To skip this fight, basically. So yeah, this place is a nice showcase of how overpowered the pop rockets are. You can just go around, one-shot everything, and you feel like a god. There's another skip here, so time for quick saving. And this is a bit harder. Didn't get it. You have like... One to two seconds most to go under this, and that was really slow. I'm actually getting spotted. I'm going too far back. Nice, got it. So there's a segment there where you have to turn a valve in order to this way in order to get the gate to rise and it's really annoying because enemies keep spawning and they'll interrupt you that's also a really small ramp jump skip just skips walking around also i'm going to attempt another one here which will and i mean miserably you can jump up in a way that it will instantly let you get out of here Whoa, nice work, my by opening that entrance uh, i'm going back to the well guy carlson i think incredible you made it back now about that toxic i need you to take it to me lot to ask i know Thanks again for your help. And that's the last quest for Mr. Quasi. So we don't have to see him ever again, which is really good. But don't worry, there are more characters that waste our time by being stupid and not allowing you to skip their dialogue. Well, actually, they do allow you to skip their dialogue, but they still have so much to say. Also, I'm collecting these fucking rocks that are falling out of the sky. You might see that I have a counter on the left side of my screen and I'm supposed to get seven of them but instead I'm going to only get six because if I get seven there will be a short slowdown applied to me as a reward for getting all seven but I still get the six rocks that I collected and I can sell those for big money which I'll obviously do, since I love money. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's only the wasteland. Nothing lives here anymore. Hello, Grandpa. Hello again, my friend. Oh. Yes, oh, my friend. Time to analyze exactly what it is you have here. Let me look at this. Ah, interesting. Very powerful stuff here. Bandits getting very clever indeed. Hmm, what's this? Wait, I think I could. Hold on. Let me try something.
Are they going to do it again? Is that exactly the same animation that happened the first time they were fighting over an object? I don't know. Either way, it's so funny. Yes, you see, you have what a nice comedic, comedic relief. Interest it and great power. Please make rage too. I have been working day and night to create a new kind of weapon for the resistance, a weapon that would make even. So we're actually almost cautious. done with this area. There are had some a few more success. quests, Injecting and at least one area that we have to go through. Actually, two areas. There's the prison, which is after this. We have to return to town from here, talk to a girl. Then we have to go to a prison, prison, and free Captain, whatever his name is. Then we go back to Dead City, where we killed Shadex, Rip. And we actually go through that in reverse, because... Ooh. Just give me a this is pretty much a let's play, so please subscribe to my channel. Follow ah, my MySpace. Yes. That is it. Perfect. Really perfect. Now, let me get it all packaged for you. And you can take it back. This is an important I feel like this is the longest. So here it is. Longest time you're spending here dots. out of the three. For the the second time you're here is definitely the shortest. And they should be able to easily but this just feels like, uh, kill more. me. And now, here is where you come in. Find my friend, Illy Good. You take care, my. Okay, so we're going back to town. We're talking to a certain someone. And then we're going to make our way to a prison. And we're actually going to use the RC cast there. And I might even attempt the harder one. Hey, Phil. You There's an... From oh, two. There's an easy trick with the RC cast that you can do there. And then there's a hard one. I might attempt the hard one. It takes nothing out. Nothing out. But you have a time limit to actually do it. So this woman is part of the resistance or the something. I don't really care, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to walk out. Captain Marshall. So, I keep coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I tricked you. Okay, so now we're going to go to the prison. Uh, the prison. And I think this is actually the first place where we encounter the... Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. Ah. Girl, you need to get a better microphone. She has the ultimate streamer mic set up. Yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, this is the prison is the first place I think where we encounter the. I don't even know what they're called. I just forgot. They're basically the bad guys. Oh yeah, once again we don't. Roads are too hard, so we use rocks instead. This is the prison. A fun place for all. Authority. That's what they're called. They're the bad guys. Hey. 
Honestly, there's not much going on over here. That guy likes to block the door. So I have to reload and shoot him. gonna make a quick save there's an invisible wall above the rails but we jump over it using the RC cars I take it Elizabeth sent you I'm sure glad to see you the door controls are on that wall hurry get me out of here I have a plan to get us out of here damn it security is back on line I'm gonna grab the power button I like how the music just stopped. Right, let's move up. I think I heard something. Search on the intruder. All the units advance. Cover me through the Again, just a simple ramp jump over that. So we're just going to I need to kill all of the enemies here, then we're going to be here for a while. While the old man does something, I don't even know what he does. So I'm just going to loot these corpses, get money, or ammo, or whatever, that I can at least sell later on. So, the harder RC car skip that I mentioned Good is shooting. up now there. So I you're basically this. going to... You're doing a ramp jump up there, and you have only a... Only a small amount of time to do it. Got company. But it's kind of hard. Oh yeah, I forgot the company. Hello. These guys are really funny. I hope we can see some funny behavior. Let's see. Oh, it was quite boring. Sometimes they spin around for like 20 seconds there, and then they explode. So yeah, after that, hey, you only have Take this cover. small amount of damage. This way. Damage. Time. To get up there. Use, I think, two RC cars? Maybe three. To get onto that pipe. Then you can get out can of bounds. The well, we can use even more out of bounds compared to that. And skip this. Just a moment. Let me try this. Can I hit this? But... So yeah, this is boring. But this trick is... Goddamn hard. And I almost did it there. And it's a really minimal... Minimal skip. For such a hassle. Unless you get it for... On like the first try. So it might not be even worth it for runs outside of segmented so now we are going to tie a few loose ends before we move on to the next area we got the captain of the resistance back and these guys are the most annoying pieces of shit in this game I'm glad you made it back. Because they talk way too much. And they might not even pay attention to you sometimes. Like you need to literally just poke around them. 
And in this world... And they have so much dialogue. So this isn't so even the worst. Time. I think it's the next time... Do you I'm talking to them. Important this excellent. That they talk for like 10... Tw <laughs> 20 minutes. Or I can actually do something. So now we're going back to the Ark where... All of this started. And we're actually... Using the service to get to the first little town where we started our journey. So we can get a bit closer to our destination. That's a nice set of blocks. This is just a small, small skip, so I don't have to go around the railing. We get the ID. That's that. If we go back to town. That was really silly. And I believe now is the time when they're going to talk. So goddamn long. And it's even worse because there are two of them, and they take turns Excellent to speak. Work. And they always have to spin around to talk to you. So there's like and 20 pieces of dialogue here. We've still got some unfinished. I mean, it's nothing compared to yes, the bullshit that Quasir says to you, but. Still annoying. Need that data. And if for nothing else, <laughs> we need that data. So, my friend, and nothing before. else. I should like compile all of these bits and pieces that they say you and suspect you can f make a sentence out of it. Find that data, and you'll have done it. Never remember. Right. The that wasn't too bad. So yeah, now we're going back to the dead city where we killed. Our beloved friend. Earlier. You look like you're off. And we are going through it backwards because that's cool. That's interesting. That's fun. And if that doesn't excite you, then you just might be a boring person. Just like me. So yeah, that's now dead cities. It's reversed. Well, it's not reversed. We're just going to use a different entrance to get there. And it's full of resistance. So, yay. Resistance? No. What were the bad guys again? I already forgot because the story is so compelling. Authority. Ah, uh, where am I? I have to stand by behind this pillar so I don't take blast damage. And if I go out too early, I will take damage from the blast even though it, the explosion happened like 5 seconds earlier. I wouldn't die from it. It's just an inconvenience.
that chunk. I actually shouldn't have taken that EMP grenade that was there, because now it's going to screw up my... Like... You can assign four items to quick buttons, and they'll automatically get assigned. Depending on what you have, so... It'll fill out the slots, so... Now that I've picked up the EMP grenade, it will most like likely... Screw up what I have equipped in the last slot, so I have to actually go in an inventory and equip the thing that I want to be there. Which, you know, it isn't that big of a deal, but it's still a small inconvenience. So yeah, that was Dead City Part 2. Think we're about to leave this place. We should be ready to move on to the next area. I think. And if I have money left, I'm going to do one thing. You have made one great, but now it's time to say your goodbyes. Yep. Elizabeth has gone We're leaving, so he's going to blabber on about something, and I'm going to. I don't have money, no! I could have <laughs> done, done some fun things. Well, damn. Maybe next time. help mask our exit. So if you're with us, then come back here when you wrap up any loose ends, and we'll leave together. So, you ready to leave? Excellent. Let's go. So welcome to the Eastern Wasteland. Now the color scheme has turned from brown to black. Yay! And there's also a new town, and he looks so Glad silly when he's driving that thing. You're probably just days away from the authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan? Well, welcome to the fire. Fighting the authority is all I know. I've been doing it ever since my arc emerged. I saw what they were doing. Nothing so like we're going to be spending for once, less time here than we spent spent in the earlier area. But, but I think that this orders. area is more fun. I don't know why. I just the enjoy the stuff here kind. more. Now it's our job to make sure it isn't forever. Also, we're going to be fighting against angry Russians, so that's always fun. City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right below it. All right. Welcome to Subway way. Town. Our base is just through that door. Again, this is something I cannot skip. The only thing I can do, I can jump basically inside his hitbox. I'm on board. Lassard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. All right, B-52, 
people. A little introduction. Okay, so the first thing... Think you'll be able to play his game? Good. Remember. So this is... We're going to go see Redstone. What's his name, I think? Who's the leader of this pl pl place? So, you're the new team. Basically the mayor, but... He's more of a thug. With a really nice tattoo you're on his head. Hey, stranger. You looking for You'll see it in a bit. If you haven't seen also, much like the mayor of the previous town, we are going to steal his bobblehead, and then we're going to go buy some stuff. Well, hello there. So, I'm actually going to quickly check how much uh, ammo I have. Yeah, I need to make some more. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little Pop money. Rockets. Helps me keep my head above water. Uh, I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so what you looking for? So now we basically sell everything again that we don't need. That's a lot of that. So we get a lot of money. <clears throat> Sentry turret. Then we're going to buy all the parts that we need. Ten of each. And... That should be enough explosive packs. We might as well get the armor upgrades, because why not? And some bug shots. Pleasure okay. doing... So now we're going to craft all the stuff that we need. Ten of the advanced center charts that we're going to use in a few different sections. I think we actually need like four of them. I mean, six or eight. But it's good to have a few extra. Okay, so that's that. Then we're going to make some pop rockets. I think 200 will be enough to carry us through the game. You honestly... If you play sparingly, you won't need more than 140. But I'm, I just want to shoot everything, so I'm going to. God damn it! With you. Get all of them. Okay, you're new. So this is Redstone. So he has the best tattoo on his head. Think you're good. Just I think he likes Skyrim or something. Think you can help? <laughs> The boss called down. I got a big problem. So, it looks like you're the guy. I'm glad you understand. So now we are going to run a few errands, so Redstone will accept us or something. The first thing is we're going to clear out this metro station. From all the evil mutants. Good. My quick slots for the items are in order. It's there. And then we just have to hold out here for a second. Kill some mutants. Which is really hard. And then I'm going to... Find up here now. Then I'm going to... Try to sharpshoot these guys. Oh, nice aim. From afar. And let the sentry turrets take care of the ones that are closer. 
And at some point that gate is going to open. There it is. I need to kill a few more, I think, in order to... In order for this door to open. Or then it's timed, I'm not really sure. Now we're going to go to another area where we are going to also set up to two sentry turrets and then we have to do a bunch of these mutants. Now we just hang around here, have some fun. And I might even switch to... If I can find it. Yeah, there it is. So this is another weapon from the Anarchy Edition. If you have the Anarchy Edition, this weapon will be with you from the moment you get access to weapon guns, I think. It's pretty fun. But I don't, I don't really agree with having cool weapons like a sort of shotgun as some stupid pre-order DLC, which is what the Anarchy Edition is. But yeah, as soon as these guys are dealt with, a big guy will come through there. And he's dead. Then we're going to hold out here for a while. A few of these big guys come around, but they'll die really easily. Thanks to the turrets. I don't really have to do anything. I can just let the sentries do all the work. And we're done with the place. So that was pretty fun. transported back to subway town we're going to talk to the guy who gave us the quest and then i think we're going to go back to weststone who is going to hey tough guy he might give us a fun quest not sure yet not bad. hey tough guy <laughs> You did it, Demon. But I know just the thing that would stop Okay. So I'm gonna need you to bust into that. Here's what you do. Cheers. Yeah, this is one of the fun places that I like. Because it's full of angry Russians. So get prepared to have the Counter-Strike Global Offensive matchmaking experience. Like, I mean, they literally yell Suka Bliat in here, so... This switch... So there's a few ways to do this particular part. If you go fast enough, you can actually make it onto this elevator 
when it's going up for the first time. Or you can use RC cars to completely skip this section. Jump over all the triggers. Also here there's a trigger. You can jump over that. I'm not going to. I have to kill these guys. In order for the flames to go away here. Okay, there's somebody still here. Alright. Then I'm going to do a quick save because I'm trying to skip a trigger, which I just did. So normally you're supposed to... You'll get trapped in that room. There are flames that will close the entryway, but you can just skip that by going fast, which is always a cool solution. Let's jump over all this. Maybe. Thank you. Activate that trigger. Now I have to go back. The wall explodes, the big guy comes through. I don't care. And we're pretty much done with this place. Now we just have to make it out. Did we hear any Suka Bliats? I'm not really sure. I don't think I heard any. But thankfully, I have to watch out for these ball sacks hanging from the roof. Thankfully, there is another place with angry Russians that we're going to go to. And I believe it's right after this one, so... That's fun. I also like that place. Mm. And it's actually the other place where we are going to use the RC cars to skip stuff. What the hell? Either way, this is a problem. I need you to infiltrate. Now you do this for me. Good. We got a deal. I like his voice. Sounds very, a very good. You know. So yeah, now we're going to head to that other place with these Russians. Thanks for the boost. Always appreciated. don't have any of these. That's going to slow me down. I should have these electro bolts, but for some reason I didn't. Um, let's switch to the bomb cars, because this is the area where we are going to use them to skip a fight. Um, I'm going to make a quick save. Okay. I failed. It's a bit finicky. Also, the enemies firing you, firing at you, isn't going to help. And I fell down. So we're basically we're jumping over an invisible wall. And getting to an area where we are not supposed to get to, and I died. I should have. Made a quick save there, with this time. It's a bit finicky. If you fall too far down, you'll just... Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. 
He'll just die straight up. Also, if these pieces of shit knock you down. Okay, we made it. I got a bit confused with my item hotkeys. I was trying to get to the bandages. Oh, but yeah, that basically skipped a fight. And a boss, I think. But thankfully, there's another boss. He also has pop rockets. So I have to kill him because there can be only one. Oh yeah, this is, this guy is the best. I call him Mr. Amplified because whoever did the mixing for this guy's voice did a good job. Oh yeah, I placed those turrets earlier. They're right there and some of these enemies are spawning there. But the turrets just killed them all, so this fight is over. Really sure. Pretty soon. And that's that. Now we are done with the Russians. I hear you. I'm away. Finally. And I think we're also done with Redstone. Because now we have his favor. And I don't even have to inform him of my success, I think. I can just straight go here. I'm not actually sure. We'll see what happens. Well, you are going on it. Yeah, that worked. As the captain has told you were. So now there are only a few quests left. Need you to go north. The jackals are a dangerous. One. A jackal canyon is a fun place. I like it. It's. <laughs> I think it's the most like. I just think it's the most fun fun place in the game. It has it has some weird stuff. That's pretty cool. And some insane stuff. And I think after this, we only have to do two things. Apart from listening to all the people talk at the base. So we're pretty close to being done. Which is cool. So this is a Chackal Canyon. It's pretty cool, inspired by Mad Max, obviously. So first of all, you're actually supposed to, you're supposed to, yeah. you are supposed to activate a switch to get over that fence, but you can just jump over it. Second. I just skipped a small thing by jumping straight for that zip line. Also, there are balloons carrying explosives around here. So this place is pretty cool. And we are just about to come to the best sec section. And actually, we are almost done with the place, so... <laughs> That was fast. Hello, balloons. Armed with explosives. Okay, this is the best place. So, I'm going all the way to the bottom. Meanwhile, there are balloons coming out of there all the time that are exploding, so... Ah, uh, it's pretty fucking insane. 
And this is mostly the only place where I can actually die and where I use bandages. And I actually ran out of bandages, but thankfully we're at the bottom. I don't really need bandages anywhere else, so... Good enough. Stop. These guys are really aggressive. And that's this that's this place. Now we ride back on this. I don't know what. Don't question it, just go with it. It's all fine. Don't think about the reasons why this is in, this is in the game. There's no use. Again, back to base. Now we just have to listen to some bullshit from the people. Then, uh, then we have to explode some security beacons on a bridge to deactivate the the the, the walls, the plasma walls or whatever laser walls that are blocking our way. Then we come back here once more. Oh wait, this guy. And then we're Excellent. done with the game. Um, who am I supposed to talk to? Maybe this. Hey, maybe this. Take a look at this. Incredible. Incredible's right. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. It oh, is. Yeah. Quite Some of this you can't skip. The key to everything. The location, codes, and re-entry times for every arc buried on Earth is right here. This. Now we finally. Get across the bridge. I'll give you the explosive charges. Good. And the authority is... So... There are... A couple of ways to get on the bridge. That's... Gip stuff. There's the way that I'm going to do, which is the faster way. And then there's the old way. Which is... Basically you... Fall off a cliff... You jump out of the car and avoid dying by doing that. Normally you just explode and die from... Just because you jump from such a high point. But instead I'm going to tr do this, which I might fail a couple of times. I fail it instantly. So you're basically ramming your car against, against the wall, hoping that you... Go high enough to do this. So this is faster than falling off the cliff. Just because you skip an elevator ride completely. Boom. That's that. Then we go back here once more, listen to some people talk, get a new weapon. I don't understand why they give you the weapon so late in the game. There's no absolute point for that. And it's also a cool weapon because it's a minigun, but it has alternative bullets, which are called something like BFG rounds, BFG ammo, something like that. BFG shots, I think. Great work. And you get the weapon before the last place. mission in the now, game. Before you go running into so what the fuck? I think you should take some extra firepower with you. Grab that authority pulse cannon. I liberated it from a dead guard. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty cool. It's a simple plasma minigun, basically. And it has those BFG rounds that you can actually use to rocket jump. If you also have... A damage amplifier. But now, get serious. 
that is a craftable thing that lasts like 60 seconds when you use it, I think. Uploading them to you now, sir. And there are some boosts that you can do with it during this last mission, which I'm not going to do because I'm boring. But now we You'll have to get just give me the damn but quest. If you successful, if take this code cipher, you'll be able to... So now we are going across the bridge that we opened up. And we're going to go to the last place in this game. So yeah, the second area is definitely <laughs> a lot shorter than the first. Which is a bit of a shame, because I enjoy this place more. Mm, and the last place that we're going to right now is pretty straightforward. I'm not going to do any tricks there, unfortunately. But at least you get to see the wonderful ending to this game that isn't at all sudden and stupid. Take this. Come on, a bit further. You can jump over this, for example, and just run up there with the BFG rounds and the damage amplifier. And these are new enemies that you only see in this area. I think there's some weird authority. Experiments. I guess they're basically making the mutants in this place or something. I don't remember the plot. But I do think that these enemies are pretty cool in the way that they behave. But you really don't get to see a lot of that since I'm just going to blow them all. You can also skip this. You basically use... I think you use RC cars to jump over this. Outside this invisible wall. And then I don't remember what else you do. Maybe you do the same invisible wall trick as you did earlier. I can't really remember. And there's a really insane trick here. There's basically... When the laser wall there is still activated, you can get a boost from it and jump straight to the level above, which is really insane, but it's also pretty impossible to do, at least for me, I tried for like two hours and then hit it once. <laughs> so you basically jump straight up here. I'm going to see if I can get the enemies to do their weird behavior. There's one. Can I have a second one? Nice, nice, nice. Can I have a third? Nice, nice. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he just missed it. So yeah, the, the enemies are kind of cool, but the behavior isn't perfect. Oh, 
about I shoot you with a rocket launcher? We haven't seen this weapon at all. How about I use a sniper rifle? Which we haven't seen either. Or this. I'm actually going to use this. Because it's basically hit scan. It might not actually be. Yeah, it is. So it's an easy way to kill these guys. Oh yeah, also time is coming up after this fight when I press the button and the cutscene starts. I have to activate these buttons first, then I'm going to press this one, which will activate the cutscene. I'll mention it when it happens. But you'll you'll notice it when the black bar black bars appear. So there's nothing nothing interesting here, to be honest. It's just me killing these guys. And the spawns are random, I think. So time is coming up real soon. The game's soft locked. Okay. So I think <laughs> time is not coming up. I think I have to do the whole place again. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what a great game. And because I'm a man, I'm going to do this. We're not going to stop the run. I didn't know that that could happen. Needless to say, I haven't really run this game that much. So either one of them didn't spawn for some reason, or something stupid just happened between the game state changing and enabling you to press the last button or I don't know this game is good ah wonderful We get to sit through this again. Doing this boring stuff again. And I'm going I'm going to <laughs> I have to do a quick save. Before the actual fight this time. And if it happens again, I might not be. Oh yeah, I can just go through. I don't know why I'm standing around. Oh. 
All right, let's see how many we can get. One. Come on. Two. Come on. Come on. Three. Ah, oh, we didn't get four. Moment of truth. Quick save. Alright. Let's hope it doesn't soft lock. Time soon. And time. 